ended up a pirate after all. When Leicester Square played host to the film's European premiere, Eat Cinema was there and very excited. Uh, Elizabeth Swan in the film. Yeah. Now, in the first one, she's not exactly a typical girly girl then. I mean, does she get even tougher in number two? No, but she does. I don't know. She was pretty girly girl for me. So, um, yeah, she does. I think in the first one, it was difficult to know where to take her because she was very straight laced. You know, she was sort of very black and white. So, we've really kind of made her more grungy. She's, uh, she's got a bit of a dark streak in this. We didn't get to speak to Johnny Depp earlier. So, we're going to have to ask you the question everyone's asking the kiss. I mean, were you just a little bit nervous about doing that scene? No, I was absolutely fine until about halfway through it and I suddenly my 14 year old self started jumping up and down and yelping. It was lovely, you know, it's great. Orlando. 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 How would you describe your character? I mean, I see him, he's a bit of a sort of male Medusa. His beard is alive. It is a bit like that actually, yeah. He has a live squid growing out of his chin, which is kind of problematic. I've played a zombie and I've played a vampire and now I'm playing a squid. And I don't think if you check the whole of this square, you wouldn't find anybody else who could say that. Now, what do you like about being a pirate? I mean, is it literally like a, a young boy's dream? Is it like playing? Well, it is really. I mean, I, I can't remember specifically playing pirates when I was a kid, but, but I'm living it now, you know, and, and the sword fighting and the, the swinging from the, the, the rigging and everything, that's all real. Did you have to sort of account for the fact that you had a fake they were going to add in post-production. Did you do beard acting? Yeah, yeah, you had to do a lot of beard acting and you had to make sure you didn't get too close to people otherwise they'd get involved in your tentacles and you had to remember that one leg is a crab leg and the other, and one arm is a claw and you had to remember that you smoke through your neck. All very technical stuff, you see what I'm saying? It's not easy. Away from the mayhem, the stars took time out to tell us what it was like to work on such an extravagant film. It's incredible being part of such a, such a huge production. I mean, really, there's it's pretty much the biggest movie to have ever come out of Hollywood in terms of yeah, size of production, budget, amount of people working and expectation. So yeah, I mean, what can I say? It was it was quite awe inspiring. It was fantastic. I mean it was just so much fun. It's always a slightly nerve wracking, a bit like watching yourself in a car crash experience, but with something like this, you know, you you sort of have a vague idea that it's going to be quite big and impressive. So it was it was exciting. You almost can't comprehend how how much goes into it and how many crew. I think you know there was a thousand of us on Grand Bahama Island at one point, and we just sort of invaded the place. Amazingly, this film was spawned by a Disney adventure ride, but the stories in all three episodes are inspired by time-honored nautical legends. You think of the sea and there's a lot of supernatural stories you've heard, but nobody would ever actually done those stories as part of a larger pirate movie or a swashbuckler. We brought in the Flying Dutchman, which is a well-known sea legend, and combined it with the Davy Jones myth. Jack Sparrow! I mean, basically we were looking for anything to expand on this world where you go to sea and weird things can happen. Visionary director of The Ring, Gore Verbinski, is the man in charge of bringing the Pirates trilogy to the screen. We tend to hire directors that have a very strong visual sense and know exactly what they want and how they want it to look and won't stop until they figure out a way to get it. And Gore's no exception. And action! Verbinski leads an armada of construction crew behind the scenes. And remember, much of what they built had to float. If they got it wrong, the film would literally sink without a trace. I'm surrounded right now by 500 crew people working away between effects and animals, special effects and visual effects and stunts and extras and wardrobe. And we have this army that, that not only works on this film, we have this army that has to take care of, you know, with feeding and housing and, and it's just big. It took eight months of construction, 450 craftsmen and visual effects experts to turn the Black Pearl into a seaworthy ship. What we did this time is we took a vessel, an actual uh, you know, ship, a tugboat, basically, and built a ship around it. Built the Black Pearl right around this other ship. So it was seagoing, it traveled from Alabama to the Caribbean on its own. 
uh, it's still with us. It's not uh, on the first movie we had you know, part, uh, portions of ships that were on barges, but never really an entire ship that could function on its own. And, and this time we did that. The Black Pearl might be a real ship, but computer-generated images are still central to the finished product. We are creating Davy Jones and the mythical Flying Dutchman, along with the Flying Dutchman crew. Uh, the crew are all going to be computer graphics. I think one of the things that Gore really didn't want to do was to have it be guys in, in rubber suits. You know, the audiences today are very sophisticated, and he just wants them to be really, really cool. I wonder, Sparrow, can you live with this? Even with all the whiz-bangery of special effects, it still takes a talented cast to bring the magic to the screen. A really good actor brings, you know, out soul to the, to the whole process. And it, it helps everybody on set. It helps Gore, you know, visualize where the, what the character's doing, where he's going to be. Gore works with the actor in, in a very normal way, like every other part of the picture. Camera operator can frame up on that, the editor can, can cut from those performances, so that the visual effects don't end up having this kind of odd, different quality to them. While digital trickery created Davy Jones' slimy octopus head, Stellan Skarsgård opted for a more old-fashioned approach for Bootstrap Bill. Well, when I first was contacted, I saw sketches of this character in six different stages, so I was very much aware of, of what it would look like, but I thought it would be most, mostly CGI, which was the original idea but it looks so much better than any CGI, so, so we decided to uh, continue doing it for real, which means four and a half hour in makeup every day. I absolutely love everything about the way that they've created Tia Dalma. I love the costume and my hair. I think it's all absolutely fabulous because I didn't recognize myself at all when I looked in the mirror. The film's leading men became accustomed to the rigors of the job. It's very physical, it's very, um, when I say physical I mean it's very present. The sets are all used to their full advantage. A lot of it is actual, you know, action. It's uh, real, real action. None of us are what you call natural swordsmen. And it's a bit like learning a very complicated dance that you can get hurt in. Oh. Jack Davenport was involved in the film's most spectacular sword fight. The big wheel was about as little fun as I've ever had at work. Um, unless you like being upside down and feeling sick and your face going the colour of strawberries. <laughs> Nothing they could ask would, would surprise me anymore, you know. Johnny, we're going to put you in a cannon and vault you out to sea. You okay with that? Sure. Let's do it. Strange job for grown men. Already this sequel is being hailed as a worthy successor. Those involved in this fabulous seafaring adventure are quite rightly as proud as rum punch. I think that Pirates 2 is just going to be bigger and better than Pirate 1. And if you love the first movie, you got to love this movie. People are going to be blown away by this one in the way that they were with uh, The Empire Strikes Back. It's definitely to be seen in the cinema. More adventure. Same kind of humor, same kind of excitement. More of Jack Sparrow. Characters that can thrill you and excite you and scare you. A whole ton of fun. More terrifying, monstery type piratey things. Piratey fun. It's kick-ass, which is fantastic.